Hello, welcome to this uh, uh, explanation of uh, my new painting. I just finished on uh, uh, today, Sunday, 12th of November. So as you can see here, this is, uh, represents uh, a summary of uh, all Christian history of Ireland plus the, the future because we see the Lamb of God here and the Virgin Mary that's still looking after Ireland and uh, well also the patron saint but especially the Lamb of God has got a special mission for the future for the future of Ireland uh, because uh, uh, Ireland especially the Republic of Ireland never uh, ceased to uh, celebrate mass since the coming of uh, St. Patrick uh, up to now, never cease to celebrate the Holy Eucharist. Therefore, a perpetual, it's a perpetual sacrifice that keeps going on. And this is what uh, the, the Lamb of God represents as a perpetual sacrifice. And probably the message they wanted to explain was that my, the sacrifice, the perpetual sacrifice in Ireland will never be ceased to be celebrated. We see here, uh, starting from the top, top right, we see Saint Columba, which means uh, Columkil, uh, the, the, the church dove, the dove of the church, that is saying, uh, is living uh, Derry, the, is the patron saint of Derry, where he built uh, at least a monastery, Saint Augustine, where is now Saint Augustine Church of, uh, church of uh, England. Anglican Church, it was uh, it was he, he, he built a monastery in Derry, and uh, eventually he left to go to Yo Iona, the island of Iona in I in in, uh, in Scotland, and therefore you see here uh, that um, that is saying goodbye to his uh, to his uh, beloved uh, uh, city of Derry, and uh, heading towards Iona. By the way, this is uh, uh, you can see the similar portrait I was inspired by the by the stained glass that is in uh, in Saint Eugene uh, Cathedral Church in 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 Derry. You can see the same uh, the same uh, image in the stained glass in the in Saint Eugene Cathedral in Derry. We move on uh, on the right side. We see Saint Patrick, the classical uh, the classical image of Saint Patrick with a shamrock in his hands, symbol of the Trinity, and also coming, uh, where he's where being blessed by the rays of the Holy Spirit coming out from, from the Lamb of God. Then we move, by the way, on the background of St. Patrick is uh, his native land, which is supposed to be Britain, where he was born. That's why I put it here on the right side, just on the top of Britain. Then we see St. Bridget here, with uh, another uh, very uh, popular uh, image of his, uh, of his, of her, um, of her, uh, of her uh, symbol, which is the St. Bridget's cross, holding St. Bridget's cross in her hand, and the gospel. Uh, so on the right hand she has St. Bridget's cross, and on the left hand, she has the gospel, where we can see it, it is a gospel because she has got the initial Alpha e Omega. I am Alpha e Omega, the beginning of the hand, he said Jesus. Therefore, she is uh, closer to Kildare here, yeah? because we know that she is the, she she found a comment a comment there in Kildare. So we see the three patrons saint all on one side here. Yeah? We move on the left and we see the apparition of Nock, uh, 1879, if I'm, if I'm correct. And we see, obviously, we see um, St. John the, the Evangelist, uh, Our Lady, and uh, St. Joseph praying, praying to the Lamb of God. Our Lady, she is looking straight to the Lamb of God like interceding for us, interceding for Ireland especially, and uh, St. John uh, the Apostle holding the, the Bible, especially probably would be the, the, the book of Revelation, because we suppose it's supposed to be, um, to have written the book of Revelation, 
here. We move a little bit on the top and we see uh, this is the guardian angel of Ireland. Every nation has got its own uh, guardian angel and uh, we do not know the name. Usually we know just the mission. The, the mission of the, of the guardian age of, of, of the nation is obviously to protect the, the, the nation from, from the evil. And, uh, and uh, so we see our praying for the Irish people, especially uh, towards the lamb. He's, he's facing, he's viewing the lamb here, the lamb of God. Uh, this is, uh, um, we, we see from the writings of St. Patrick that St. Patrick had a guardian angel <coughs> his name was um, Victor, so victory. Uh, now, he could have some relationship with this guardian angel, maybe yes, maybe not. But uh, again, we, do, we cannot know the name of uh, the guardian angel of, uh, of a nation because uh, this is what God's will, uh, we should not know the name because uh, the name is very important, uh, especially in Jewish tradition. And we, if we know the name, we have a kind of an authority over them. So that's why God he does not want us to, have, uh, to know the name, because we should not have our authority over the angel, but the angel should have authority over us. So let's just call him the guardian angel of Ireland here. Yeah. And we see at the center the Lamb of God, that is... Uh, um, is coming out from him, the, 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 the rays of the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit that were guided all the patron saints and, uh, and, uh, and uh, yeah, the apostles, St. Joseph included. So he's shedding his whole Holy Spirit all around Ireland and, uh, and, and, uh, and, uh, and the saints. Yeah. So this is the size, it's an A4 uh, paper. I used again acrylics here and varnish and gloss varnish to finish it. So thank you for watching and God bless you all. Bye.